We are back, folks, with another match. Johnny Kang versus Gary. Race the four on the one loss side. These are all going to be one loss matches until we get to the finals. Gary's break. One ball goes down. Looks like a pretty textbook break, but I don't think he's going to have a shot on the two. Well, uh, not a very good shot by Johnny. Redemption, but there's a lot of work to do on this rack here. Looks like uh, the easiest way out of this mess is uh, just to try to set up a 6-9 combo, but uh, getting to that is not going to be easy either. Guys, if you uh, have the uh, inclination, please feel free to uh, post this match on your Facebook pages. 
Uh, we're getting down to the wire here. The winner of this match will end up uh, playing Bo Runnigan. Right here is a third, fourth place match. This this match this this rack was just not take not worth taking on for either player. I mean, it's now only opening up, but it, even the seven and the eight right now tied up together it doesn't look good. Seems to be a general tendency to want to run the balls out, but you know you, you could easily set up for. I mean, right here is a stop shot safety. He's got a little too much angle, but uh, I think Johnny can handle this. Well, he decided not to play a stop shot, and that was smart. He was good. Well, I guess I had made a mistake. I guess, uh, well, no. Johnny is waiting to play the winner of Steve Chaplin's match, and that's the match we're watching right now. Wow. Look at this. I think it's going in. Wow. A four-railer. Hey, Steve. Uh, I would, s yeah, steer, uh, steer clear. Okay, there you go. Feel like joining me? Yeah, I know. Gary, is his last? Do you know him very well? No, first time I've met him. I just, you know, first time I've played him. Good player. Yeah. Put a little safety on me to win the match. All right, hold on just a second there, Steve. I'm about to put Steve on the mic, so hold on, guys. Steve, you're on the air, as am I. Hey, everybody. We got some good pool coming up here. A lot yeah, of good so, players left. So this guy, Gary, he looks like a pretty tight player. Yeah, uh, you know, he just beat me. We won Hill Hill, and, uh, you know, he can play. He missed a couple balls that he probably shouldn't have, but uh, moves the cue ball well, played a heck of a safety on me to win the match. Uh-huh. I think Johnny's a favorite in this, but, uh, you know, uh, th this could definitely go in either way, especially on this table. Yeah, I mean, that, that shot was pretty... This table's playing so difficult. I played a couple matches on it earlier tonight, and uh, besides being four-inch pockets, it's, it's playing sticky like it's humid. Well, it, it's been humid in here all day. Yeah, but this, this table seems to be playing a lot stickier than some of the other ones in the tournament room. I'm not sure why, but uh, it's playing tough. So you got paid out the same as I did, I think, 85 bucks. Yeah, I was happy to get the 85. I struggled the whole day. I honestly, I was uh, surprised I got as far as I did. But, you know, that's how it goes. Sometimes you play good and you get, you know, knocked out. And 
other times you struggle and your cash. That's absolutely right. Yeah, I would have liked to win that match and play Johnny. Johnny's a well, you know, player. my match with Johnny was horrible, but only because I did all of the work and I ended up losing anyway. Yeah, that's a hard way to play. I was nine really balls. upset. I was really upset. I ran out uh, two racks and uh, missed the nine, and then I missed the eight on another rack. I was really, really upset. Got a score of one zero. Every game is big in a race to four. Absolutely. You're going to see these guys play safe a fair amount on this table just because it's tough. You know, I mean, it's not worth shooting at a lot of shots. I think he might have a shot still here. Uh oh. Yeah. Uh, well, what happened there? Uh, you know, he just this table is uh, he hit a little funny, and I don't think he was putting any English on the ball. One thing I noticed on this table is it's so sticky that uh, you put English on the ball, it's all uh, really tough, really tough to pocket balls. Just adjusting the camera there a little bit so that uh, it's a little bit better centered. Yeah, you got to be real careful. Like, if you hit the ball with outside, it's really easy to overcut balls right now. You know, I got a philosophy about all that. Just aim right. <laughs> Well, you know, when they're sticky, the balls throw more. So if you put outside English on, it's going to cut more. And if you I put agree. inside, it's going to cut less. So I, I agree. I'm kidding. It's I'm just, kidding. Uh, and you know, if you're playing on four and a half, five inch pockets, it's maybe not as big a deal. But when you're playing on four inch pockets, a little more cut and all of a sudden it rattles. Yeah. A little stun run there. Yeah, John, Johnny likes to stun the ball a lot. Uh, his style is more of a, you know aggressive stroke. He hits a lot of balls hard. Uh, if he has a choice, he's going to hit it hard. Yeah, I think he he kind of operates on the on the assumption that uh, the harder you hit, you know, if you hit the ball hard, it's not going to roll off. And I think maybe he just you know relies on that. Yeah, I think. Uh, Sometimes it gets them in trouble, but, you know, most of the time uh, it's better to hit it firm. And that's going to make it one all. So we have a match here. These guys both looking pretty strong. Yeah, I think we're going to see some pretty good pull. I'm not sure we're going to see anybody stringing rocks on this table, but we, we might see some guys break and run out here. Well, we got some late late comers tonight, you know, uh, watching in the audience. Still got our uh, friend Don Hickson from Kansas City watching. Uh, of the KC That's Pool nice Poker dot com website. Yeah, I'll see if he shoots this. He's thinking about it. He might just because of where the cue ball is going to be going. I'm 
not oh. sure he has a pocket here now. Oh, no. I mean, he doesn't. He doesn't. Uh, I don't think he wants to shoot the combo. Yeah, that's, that's he might a not tough have a shot choice because, table. Well, yeah, but he might be able uh, to stun up. He, and, he and can duck behind a nine ball if he wants. Oh, he had a pocket. Okay. Oh, he did have a pocket. Yeah, he's good. Well, this could be the break and run that you're not expecting. Well, I, ex I expect to see some break and runs. I just don't expect to see guys stringing, you know, racks together. Yeah, and then he oh, misses we, out. Yeah, then we had to go open our mouths there. That was a commentator curse there. Well, Gary, back to the table now. Now, I don't know anything about this guy at all. He moves the cue ball well. I mean, uh, like I said, against me, he missed a couple shots he probably shouldn't have. But, uh, you know, he he uh, he's, his stroke's a little unorthodox, but uh, really works well for him. He, he kind of he holds his wrist in, I think, a little bit. Yeah. He just uh, he just can't do that though. Not this against uh, not again not at this time of the night. You can't no not this far in. Well, it's eleven thirty, and we still have two matches to stream after this. Look at this. What now is that, going on? This table's tough, but it's not that tough. <laughs> And you know, I'm uh, John, Johnny's a good player. Johnny played as a pro for a while. I mean, he's he's played on tour. He's you know really a solid player. Do you have Johnny in the game? Yeah. Okay. Cool. AK forty-seven. AK forty-seven. Or I'm sorry, JK forty-seven. JK forty-seven. That was a nice shot there. I think this guy must have played some straight pull the way, you know, the kind of shots he plays. Yeah, yeah. He looks he like... Hold, he holds the end of the cue. You know, he kind of holds... He cradles the end of the cue in his palm, yeah. almost. I, I just... A real unorthodox stroke, but the guy can play. I mean, he, you know, you see the cue ball speed he has. He knows what's happening. Mm -hmm. Nice. Good shot going to make this uh, two to one game. That's the thing about pool is you can, you can play pool a lot of different ways. You see a lot of different styles and you know I mean uh, people figure out how to make it work. Well, so far, nip and tuck. Yeah, I think this is going to be a good match. Good That's break. A nice break. Well, good cue ball. Uh, yeah, if he can get on this two ball, I'm not sure whether he's going to look to play the combo or. The two seven or something else. Let's see what he see what he does here. Yeah, looks like he's going to play the two seven there. You think he might play the combo or he might play to carry him off? I don't know. I can't tell whether how I can't tell how much pockets pockets there. I think from this angle he's got. If he's got some pocket, he might do that. Yeah, he had enough pocket. Yeah, he did. And he's lined up nicely for the four. I want to welcome Spanky to the chat room. How's it going? Spanky79 knows about Gary. Well, that's an interesting play he just did there. You know, he, he played for a lot of angle. Uh-oh. I think he's okay here. You think so? You think he can see enough of it? Yeah. Maybe not. Wow, wow. you want to play some later? <laughs> no, it's tough to see. It's tough to see from this angle. It really is. Well, 
It, it kind of did look like he had a shot at it. Well, you know, I don't know. Maybe he seemed to think he did. Yeah, when you play pool on this, these kind of tables especially, it, it really comes down to who's going to make less mistakes. Where a mistake's wow, going to be. he drilled that ball in. Yeah, he, you know, he ain't going to mess around. Mistake really qualifies as either missing a ball or uh, playing a bad safety. Either one of those is going to catch up with you. Well, that, 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 that could have quickly turned the screws on Johnny, but uh, unfortunately Gary uh, gave Johnny ball in hand, and it's now 2-2, two to two, so we have a, a grind house today. Yeah, Johnny's a real fighter. He's kind of got a little bit of a freewheeling style. If he gets it rolling, uh, you know, he can play really well when he gets going. I'm not sure it's possible to get going on this table. Ouch. Well, I've seen uh, Boosty run a five-pack on this table, and uh, Dennis Orculio. Uh, did really well here at the Hard Times 10 ball. Yeah, well, you're talking about, a, you know, Dennis Acuglio is probably the best player in the world and has oh, been yeah. for the last few years. And yeah, yeah. But even right now, even Dennis, I think, would have trouble with a, a playing sticky like this. Sure. I mean, I you know, the one thing about the Filipinos is that they grow up playing on heavy cloth and where it's humid. And, and uh, if anybody could play on this table right now, it would be one of those guys. Right, right. Well, Boosty, Boosty actually said this was the toughest table he's ever played on. Yeah. and That's coming from, from Boosty. And I've played on this table a fair amount. And I, I, this is the toughest night I remember having on it. Yeah. Well... He's, Gary's hooked himself on the on the two ball here, so he's he's bunting, but he's left Johnny a, a back cut to the bottom uh, left corner. I don't know if that three ball goes in the side. He can play it down in the corner where he's standing. It looks like it does go in the side, Steve. So I think he can play either way. You know. I think I think he'll play for the side if it goes in the side. Well, knowing Johnny and the speed he likes to play, you called it. He's yeah. just kind of stuck himself against the rail, though. Which well, he hit it too far. He wanted to have the other angle. Now he's got the angle up table. That's that's going to make it tougher. Yeah, I think he's going to wham it. I know sometimes... What, you mean play, play the cue ball up, up, down table, two rails around? Uh, well, the, the problem is, is the six ball, I think, is blocking that one pocket. I think he's got to play for the other pocket. Wow. I was just going to say, if anybody can do this shot, Johnny can, but... Yeah, it looks like he was too straight on. Uh, he looked like he just tried to stop it. It's hard to see the angle from over here. I thought he had more angle coming up table. All right, now I haven't seen this guy really try to stroke a ball. This one he's going to have to hit, you know, not super hard, but fairly hard. Yeah. Or you can play it like that. Yeah. He's uh, a little out of line here. He can, he can back cut this four. There is a pocket for it. Uh, but there's a side pocket to contend with. And there's also the question of getting shape. He's going to probably have to I think he the can table. shoot the five in the same corner, or if he could shoot it in the side. It just depends on how he wants to hit it. Wow. Well, he decided to bank that four ball. Guess he didn't like the back cut. What's going to happen here? I think Johnny can... Uh, well, maybe Johnny can't get there. He might have to carry him a six. I shot two of those back cuts on this table in earlier matches and missed them both. I, 
think he's playing the six. No, he's got the four ball. We have a really hard time seeing the. Uh, All right, now, now he the should. Line of sight he, here. he should be out here. This is fairly straightforward. Well, we saw him miss a two ball. It was a. There was no excuse. Yeah, to Yeah, but I think he's. I think he's done with that. You want to bet a dollar? Yeah. I bet you do. I know his game pretty well. I mean, he'll he does struggle, you know, and he can struggle for a long time, but he just doesn't look like he's in that mode where he's going to keep struggling. He's all right. He's all right. So the winner of this match will um, play uh, go Bo. on to play Bo Runnigan, who's guaranteed second third or third fourth at least well no wait he's well, guaranteed, guaranteed third, third yeah which is a good place to be hey action donkey in the chat room what's going on thanks for joining us here on POV pool we got Johnny on the hill before Gary so let's see where this goes but this whole match has been nip and tuck so Nick Spano in the hot seat. No, sorry. Yes. Nick Spano in the hot seat. This is a third, fourth place match. And Nick's been playing well today. I've seen, I saw him play here, I think, last month as well, and he didn't do too well. And yeah, Nick's a good player. Nick is a great player. Well, at this table, stuff. Three ball is a real problem, and I don't think he's got a shot on the two. He's looking at it like maybe it goes in the side, but it looks pretty tough from here. What, the three ball? Yeah. Well, the three ball does actually go on the side, but he needs he needs to drop onto it. You know what I mean? Yeah, he doesn't There's have no a cut shot there. I mean, No pocket here, I don't think. I'm not sure what he's going to do. I think he's playing the combo. Tough shot. Hit it good. Didn't make it look that hard. <laughs> yeah, we missed a great, you guys, uh, if you're just joining us, missed a great match between Nick Spano and Bo Runningen. Bo had him four games to, five, for, to two. He had him, he was already on the hill and, uh, or four games, to three. I don't think this two goes by the nine. And Nick came back and beat Bo running again, so Bo's waiting to play the winner of this match. I think he, I think he's looking to duck here because uh, he doesn't have a, any kind of shot on the two. Or you could just do that. What was that? Well, he was playing. Wow. He was playing the, the combo and the safe. Look where he put the cue ball. You know, he was playing Whoa, both. Yeah. Yeah. And he and happened to make it. Two combos in a row, and look at the off-angle shot of. You could you, you could shoot hey, this uh, shots forty or fifty times on this table and only one make it once. One, that'll that'll <laughs> make the highlight reel for sure, man. Oh Johnny yeah. Kang on fire right now. <sighs> Uh, and waits now to play Bo Runnigan, who will be uh, here very shortly with a final score against Gary Deerwester, uh, four games to two to two on the one loss side. That was just a ridiculous shot. That was a crazy shot. The shot before that was ridiculous too. I mean, the two seven combo. In you know, I mean, it was it was a, it was a good shot. You know. It's a Great Not shot. as ridiculous as the one after it, though. Wow. Yeah. Pretty good work by Johnny Kang. And uh, definitely want to say uh, so long to Gary, our fr uh, new friend here. Just, just uh, takes fourth place. Good job, Gary. And uh, good playing, man. Good playing. 
Good player. I hope to see him again. Nice guy, too. Seems like uh, takes yeah, the game pretty seriously. He does. I think he'll be around again. Good yeah. player. So stay tuned, guys. We're going to have the Bo Runnigan play uh, Johnny Kang shortly. You know, right the, the field was a touch weak tonight for uh, first Sunday. Um, you know, we had uh, really only one champion, Santos. Uh, normally we have several champions. Well, but we had uh, Dave, Dave and, and, and Bernardo was here too. We do, did have a lot of good players. Dave Hemma, uh, Bernardo Chavez, uh, Bo, Johnny. Nick. Uh, Nick. I mean, there's been a, been a lot of good players here tonight. Brian Parks. Brian Parks, yep. You know, another good player. So we're going to get this match started right away. It's going to be Bo running in versus Johnny Kang coming right up. Race to four. To four. But we were missing uh, Oscar and Ernesto and Louis Ulrich and uh, Parika and uh, you know, there's several guys that y usually well you know show those, up on this one. Uh, a lot of people went up to New York to play the uh, the Ginky Sansuchi uh, Memorial Tournament, which is also being streamed or mm -hmm. was being streamed. Uh, I believe it's over now. I think uh, I'm wondering, did Earl Strickland take first place or? I'm not sure. Maybe somebody in the chat room can help me. Yeah, Earl still plays good. And this is going to be a... Oh, um, I apologize, folks, on the last graphic. I had it uh, written up as a race to five, but it's actually a race to four. This is going to be a third place match. Well, second third place, right? Am I am I correct? Yeah, it is uh, going to be. Uh, this is guaranteed second third right here. Bo Runningen versus Johnny Kang. So I'm looking at the next table over, and I see L.A. Mo over there. Do you know L.A. Mo? Oh, yeah. L.A. Mo. We've had him on the stream a couple times. He plays yeah. real good one pocket. Oh, yeah. Now, you, you realize that's not the original L.A. Mo. He's the second L.A. Mo. The original L.A. Mo played even better one pocket. And I talked to him one night about it. I, I asked him, you know, if he, he knew the original L.A. Mo, and he told me, yeah, he played him. No kidding. And I said, well, what was it like? And he said, well, he made me like it. 